Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, my name is Averk. I'm a pro MK player from Canada and uh, this is Scorpion Guide. Uh, I'm known as the best Scorpion player in the world in terms of placement and a lot of the tech you guys are going to see, I actually, most of it is from me. So trust me when I say I know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, I've won in multiple online tournaments. Uh, my first offline tournament was We Play where I placed fifth. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Let's go over some general and basic uh, information you need with Scorpion in, ter in terms of his best buttons, best normals, anti airs, all that stuff. So I have them posted on the screen. Uh, let's start off with back one. Back one, uh, this whole string, back one, four, three, is his best uh, hit confirmable mid string. So um, the reason why it's so good is because if you complete the whole string, it's safe. Um, and also, if they're hit, you get a combo. So that's his best mid hit confirmable string. Back two is only good if you can hit confirm, um, d do these single button hit confirms, which I'll touch on later. It's a little bit more advanced, so I'll get on to uh, get into detail about it like later on in the video. Uh, but what makes back two so good is how far it goes. So I'm all the way back here, and back two is still connecting. The whole string goes very very far. The only issue with it is it's uh, so minus that it's. It's punishable if you do it on block. So if you just do this normally, they block it, you're going to get hit, you're going to get punished. So I would never just do that move on its own. Um, but I, I will get on to why it's uh, better later on. So uh, his best pressure tools, 4-3, 2-1, 2-1-2. 4-3 is good because it's fastest mid um, and you can use it to pressure the, uh, pressure the person and 4-3-4 four, four has a crushing blow onto it. So those are his best buttons. Um, the reason what, uh, why these buttons right here, 2 1, 2 1, 2, are so good is because they're all plus. This is plus uh, 3 on block, this is plus 2 on block, and this is plus 7 on block. So these are his best buttons. <clears throat> don't use any of the strings that I don't have posted. Let me, like, let me show you guys right now. Never, ever, ever, ever use this string. This string right here, only use this if you want to chip the person out because that string is actually like trash. Never use that string. I see. Uh, common League Scorpion players using that string, and it's like, I just don't understand why they would use it. Uh, so never use that string. Um, and also, this this string right here is very situational. I would recommend using the string very a very small amount. The reason why I say this is because there's a false block gap, and it's also punishable. This is punishable. If they block that, they're getting punished. Even if they block this, they're getting punished. And um, here, there's also a false block gap right here. So that string is not good. Only use it if you want to stagger 4-4. Four, four. Hang on. If you just want to stagger 4-4, four, four, like you can do this, but I would... And if they don't have defensive meter to fall block, then also I guess you could use that string if you want to. Keep yourself safe. If they block it, you teleport away. If they get hit, you get a combo. Um, I'm going to quickly touch on to his best anti-airs. Um, so Scorpion's anti-airs are honestly not that good. They're pretty inconsistent. You can do it if you if you time it right. Standing one is very good, um, and standing four. I think standing four is the best button to use uh, to anti-air when they do deep jump ins, because you're getting some really good damage off of this. Like just a basic combo of an anti-air, you're getting thirty percent, and that that's not even optimal. You can get more than that. His down two is is good. It's the best time to use his down two to anti-air is when they jump over you like that, because you can you can get a combo off, off of it. So his down two is good if they do these like cro weird like cross up jumps when they like jump over you. Uh, but even down two, like it's it's pretty inconsistent unless you like do it very very like on point. Uh, the way to go for Scorpion, I think, is uh, to false block. If it, if it's a close jump in, you gotta false block it most of the time. If it's a character with not that great jump ins, then I guess you get standing one, a deep jump in standing four. And one thing I also want to show you guys is not enough Scorpion players do this. I swear, I feel like this is his best anti-air option in the corner. Uh, so, you trip card with teleport. Because this is where jump ins are the most abused. Trip card with teleport, you get really good damage. Here, I missed on that time. You're getting minimum like 30%. So, in the corner, always do that. And uh, yeah, that's like basically just like the most basic stuff you need to know for Scorpion. 
uh, his best normals. I'm gonna touch on. I'm gonna get into uh, in depth why all this stuff is so good. Like all of these strings being like, like why this is so good, why this is so good. Like you guys will see more uh, later on in the video. But yeah, that's it for the basic information. Okay, now let's go over the more uh, advanced stuff for this guide. Um, let's start off with his variations. So I think you need help port. His second move doesn't really matter, but you absolutely need help port. Uh, I'll show you guys why it's so good uh, in a second. Second move, uh, if you want damage, use NJP. If you like to throw and enforce uh, throw pressure a lot, um, use the spear buff because it does about three and a half more percent per throw uh, with the buff active. Um, and if you're playing against someone ja uh, jumpy like Jackie, uh, upgraded or Cabal, use the air grab. Uh, but it's honestly personal preference. You guys can use whatever you want. Um, but yeah, let's get into why Hellport is so good. Hellport is good because you're always safe no matter what. If they block something, you teleport away, you're completely safe, neutrals reset. Because otherwise, when you do this, you got a disadvantage and you have to guess between a strike or a throw. That's why I think Hellport is so good. Really quick, I'll touch on his BNBs and we'll move on to why uh, some more advanced stuff after that. So his BNBs are after any hit confirm, you do 4-3-1-1-2 or 4-3-1-1 spear for one bar. So after any hit confirm, 4-3-1-1-2 or 4-3-1-1 spear. So those are his BNBs. Uh, they do okay damage. They're not the best, but they're not bad. Um, now his optimal two bar is, if you want, you could either do this, get the crushing blow. It does about 37-ish uh, percent, 38 percent, or you can do this. Standing four, four three spear. So those are all his BNBs. Um, they're not too hard to do at all. Uh, if you have the NJP on, instead you can get an extra hit. And again, you just do 4-3 and then end it however you want. Either do Spear or 1-1-2. So I was telling you guys why back 2 is only good if you can hit single button hit confirm. So currently I think I'm the only person who can do this consistently. But trust me, you guys can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You just need practice doing it. So put it to random uh, combo, random attack for block. If it's blocked, you teleport away. If it's hit, you confirm. And it's good because look at how far it goes. It's hit, confirm, hit, confirm, lock, teleport away. So this is super, super good. I think if you want to play Scorpion like as optimal as you can, you need to know how to do this. Um, and it's also good off his 4-3. It's his fastest mid. And 4-3 has the most mind games behind it, like by far out of all the stuff he has. So what I mean by this is because 4-3 has a gap, uh, where you can flawless block, a lot of people will try to mash after 4-3. So if I put this to reversal mode uh, on, and I'll put this to this, if it's hit, you get a combo, blocked, teleport away, and you can whiff punish them. You can also do stuff like this. Uh, I'll put it to block everything. If he gets hit, crushing blow, you get, uh, oh, the combo for this is you teleport, 4-3, one, one, It's the same thing. Uh, the timing is a little bit tricky on the teleport, but trust me, with practice, you guys can get it down, but that is a combo. Um, this is a little bit more advanced, but you can do 4-3, micro duck, you get a full combo. If you know they're going to do high, you get a full combo from there. If you're not good at doing that and you know they're going to do high, just poke. You take your turn back, then they have to get between striker or throw. That's also super good. But because of they're so scared about 4-3, because as you guys know, um, here, let me show you guys really quick. 434, of course, has a gap. So they're always looking out for the gap. Now, because of this, that's what makes 43 so good. You can do 43 throw, you can do 43 one. Like, they're, trust me, most of the time, if you haven't used a crushing blow, they're going to be scared to do this. Like, like press a button after. So that's where you, you can, like, enforce a lot of his pressure. Um, another thing you can do to enforce pressure is, in my opinion, um, one of his better strings. For sure is this whole thing scorpion players i never see scorpion players use this string properly and it's like the mind games behind it are actually kind of nuts this is plus three uh pl plus two and plus seven the reason why it's so good is because there's a gap so a lot of the time uh people would do this or sorry i recorded it wrong so because there's a gap they can try to interrupt it Right? But then there's mining games where you can do this. So now if I try to interrupt it, I get hit and I eat a full combo because of that. 
and all this pressure uh, will make them scared to uh, push a button after plus three, plus two, whatever. So you can start getting like plus seven dash up throw. They, like they can't press a button after that. You do four three, hit confirm the four three. You could even do because it's so plus you could even do back one. So then you can start doing uh, start doing stuff like this. Start throwing this throw. Because you're so plus after the string, and it's, the pressure is kind of scary uh, to deal with, so you can start like enforcing this pressure that way. N n not nearly enough scorpion players like use that string of pressure, and it's one of his best tools, and I hi highly recommend you guys use that. Of course, um, a lot they're gonna start adapting and doing this and poking, right? Because I'm trying to do like micro duck, I'm trying to do one one, I'm trying to do four three four three. That's when you start like anticipating what they're going to do and start doing stuff like this block grab right away because that if they if they think the poke's going to hit most of the time they're going to assume the poke's going to hit um and then you can just like enforce pressure after this do a mid do this poke back grab after like anything like that and of course they mash they're eating that uh one more thing this is guaranteed on uh normal hurt box characters sorry you get that? If, they, if they're gonna, if you think they're gonna break away, mash a fatal blow, and you're gonna get them with that too. That's also a very good thing uh, you could do with Scorpion. And that is guaranteed 39%. Um, so I've talked about why Scorpion is so good. Uh, obviously, you can't zone him at all. Like if you try to zone this character, like you're you're gonna get punched every single time. So you can't zone Scorpion, help part good because even if you think they're gonna throw a projectile but you can't react to it because some projectiles are really uh, fast, you just teleport behind them, if they throw a projectile that you get punished. Um, I talked about another reason why he, he's so good is because he's always safe. I would say his biggest weakness is he cannot deal with pressure very good at all. Characters like Jackie, Lou, um, any character with a 9 frame mid where he has to take his turn back with the poke or because his mids are too slow to like take your turn back with against these high pressure characters i think that's his biggest weakness um but yeah despite all of his uh despite that weakness and everything having soul mids and everything i think this character is mid tier he's a very solid character don't let anyone tell you this character is bad because i promise you they just suck at this game <laughs> like this character is not bad at all uh you do have to know how to play him um at a like higher level because you do have to work quite a bit with him but when you play Scorpion, like optimal, like how I showed you guys just now, he's a very good character. You do have to work with him, but trust me, he's a good character. He's about like higher mid tier. I'd say he's about like A tier, maybe a little lower than that. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the advanced uh, part of the guide. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching uh, the Scorpion guide. I really hope this helped you guys a lot. And you guys can check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. Uh, my next character guide will be either Spawn or Raiden. I do plan on doing character guides for those two characters. And if you like this video, please leave a like and comment below with your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.